On behalf of students, faculty, and staff, I virtually welcome all of you to the School of Management and Entrepreneurship, SME IIT Jodhpur. My name is Gaurav Kumar, and here I am a faculty in finance area. I will be moderating today's discussion. SME was set up in 2019 under the ages of IIT Jodhpur, and you will be happy to know that SME is one of the very few B schools across globe to offer its flagship Tech MBA pro program. Now, what exactly is Tech MBA program? This is a question that is there in the minds of MBA aspirants. To answer this question, and you know, in order to give a flavor of Tech MBA program. The in-house faculty at SME have created a master class series. As a part of this series, today we have with us Dr. Mayank Kumar. So, Dr. Mayank, uh, yeah. So, Dr. Mayank is uh, uh, with us today. So, Dr. May Mayank Kumar obtained his PhD from IIM Tirchi. His doctoral thesis broadly focused on health care IT. And it was an interdisciplinary study that is carried out on the interface of information system, healthcare, and sociology. His research interest lies on the issues of social issues of information system. And he employs diverse methodological and theoretical approaches in his research inquiries. Dr. Mayan's teaching interests are in the use of analytics in marketing, such as digital marketing, web analytics, social media analytics, and e-commerce. And the emerging advanced analytic courses, such as deep learning, data visualization, and artificial intelligence. His research articles have appeared in several leading journals, including International Journal of Information Management and Journal of Knowledge Management. He has also presented papers at several leading conferences, including International Conference on Information System, ICIS, and America's Conference on Information Systems, AMCIS. During his PhD at IM3, he was also invited to attend the prestigious ICIS doctoral consortium held in San Francisco in the year 2018. And he was among the 40 candidates selected from a global pool of applicants. So meanwhile, the students are joining in. Uh, let me uh, give a brief uh, of the recent master classes uh, that we had. So I had taken uh, the master class in the area of finance, and the topic of my class was how Donald Trump tweets are impacting the stock markets. And today we have uh, Dr. Mayank with us. We'll talk about social media analytics. Thank you very much uh, uh, for this uh, introduction and. Uh, uh, very good evening to all of you. Uh, thanks very much uh, for joining this session. Uh, we will, as Dr. Gaurav said, we will talk about social media analytics. You know, uh, I hope with this course, uh, you will be able to see how tech and management uh, combine together in this field of social media analytics. And I hope uh, you'll go with some learnings on how do you uh, get insights from the, the live data that you get uh, from social media feeds and how uh, a business organization would be able to gain insights for uh, their you know, decision making. Right. So uh, let me share my screen with you. Dr. Gaurav, if you could quickly confirm the same. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dr. Man, your screen is perfectly visible to me. Wonderful, thank you very much. Right. Uh, so uh, when we go and talk about uh, social media analytics, you know, the first question uh, would always come to our mind is, you know, why social media, especially uh, for somebody who is, who is going to be an uh, you know, MBA graduate or you're going to work in a business domain, a management domain, you would be uh, wondering why uh, you should uh, think about social media and therefore why social media analytics. So I'll just try to give a context of, uh, you know, in which we'll try to see the importance of social media analytics. And then I'll, I'll uh, try and give you some hands on on one particular type of social media analytics that we call a network analytics working live media data. And then we'll have a uh, uh, question answer where I'll try to answer your question. Right. So, you know, uh, if you go to the statistics, uh, we'll see that uh, more than a half of the world's population today is in social media. Oh, and when we are on social media, we are doing various activities and through those activities, we are producing some data which a business organization could mine and gain several insights 
from that and that they can leverage for their various business purposes right so sometimes we uh, explicitly engage with the brand in you know in, uh, while we tweet about them or write reviews about their products and that is where we are explicitly engaging with the brands but sometimes without necessarily talking about the brand we through our activities and likes and shares and the personal posts that we write we create several data that behavioral data which a form could use uh, for their business purposes and uh, you know and because of this uh, the large volume of uh, the large number of people on social media and the data that uh, we produce social media is considered to be a new gold for this business organizations which they can mine to create values and the values could be uh, for the form uh, that could be not only the tangible but also intangible we will see what about values of form could derive also a business could produce those values for the customers right and for the customers also those values could be tangible as well as intangible right? so in this table i just try to this what are those uh, various tangible and non tangible values a form or a customer could get from social media and the insights that one could generate and this is a question uh, every social media marketer or somebody engaging with social media strategies would have to face that what is that value and most often those values are not tangible values but well, well, in terms of market share so the revenue or you know the, the profit that you generate it could be a majority of those values come in non tangible forms such as brand awareness quality or customer engagement right and, and the perception about that so these are the set of values non tangible as well as tangible that a form could create for itself as well as for the customers and this set the context that one has to uh, one big business organization has to engage with the social media data right but now the biggest question that comes is how do you go about creating those and capturing those values for the forms as well as for the customers right and that is where the role of social media analytics comes and you know the social media analytics is where you know you bring science and art both we will see again uh, with, with the help of data where you bring science and art to to get the hidden insights that are available in the large volume of live data that are available on social media about customers behavior and their engagement with your brand right the other question that would come when we talk about social media analytics is that there are various forms of business analytics existing right so why do we go and uh, why should we bother about running social media analytics what is that unique about it in this table i have tried to answer this particular question you will see various differences between traditional business analytics and social media analytics one or two things rather that will catch your attention is that one that we already discussed social media data that you get it's in the real time we will see again with the help of example uh, uh, one example that i have uh, tried to put into the session right the insights that you get uh, you know just two minutes before you know what the people talking about your brand versus the insight that you get just after two minutes is likely to be very different right and the data always changes every second right so you are working with the data which is frequently changing and therefore the insights that one could draw would also change very frequently and that is something very unique about social media and the second is that since the data is on internet it's a boundaryless you, you don't know where it is coming from right so at least these are the two major differences that exist apart from some other that it is unstructured and you know it's stored in uh, third party database etc these are the two major differences and therefore one has to go and uh, learn and start practicing social media analytics different from traditional business analytics now once we know that uh, there is a social media data and it's a different one has to know, learn about it what is the social media about what are the various ways in which uh, one would do social media analytics right so then you will see in social media analytics there are essentially eight layers eight layers of analytics that one could do, uh, do in uh, analyzing social media data starting with network analytics right so in a network analytics what we do is uh, you know we try to identify the nodes the people who are talking about certain things about certain products certain uh, uh, events certain uh, uh, engagements that people are talking about and in the text analytics what we try to see what are they talking about what are the various categories of discussions happening themes and the sentiment where in action analytics we talk about okay how about the engaging what are the likes the shares or uh, when they are sharing what are they liking about what are they writing about us right in hyperlink we study what are the various sources from which link is coming to my corporate websites right and so on and so forth so there are various eight layers to be precise in the social media analytics that one has to do now the question comes which layers of analytics would you use at what moment and that's where you have to 
connect your social media analytics to the business purposes, right? So as a business organization, you would have various questions in mind. And based on which question are you trying to address, you will choose one particular layer of social media analytics. And in this particular table, I have tried to give a tentative research questions or business questions one would have. And therefore, what social media, what layers of social media analytics one would adopt and a couple of tools that are available, right? So, uh, you know, if, for example, if you see the uh, first row, if your purpose is to know who is the most influential person on social media talking about my product or my recent launch car, right? in that case, you go and do a social media network analytics where you try to identify the various connections that exist, the network that exists, and who is the most important person in that network. And that is something we'll go ahead and do in today's class. I'll explain you how uh, you can draw network from live social media data. Once you have done that, then you, you will, okay, now I have identified who is the most important person talking about us. Now let's go ahead and identify what are they talking about, whether they are talking positive, negative, or neutral. And that's why you will go and look for text analytics, right? Once you have known that, then you will be interested in knowing where are they located. And then you go and do location analytics, right? So these are the ways, based on what business question you have, you choose the various layers of business analytics. So as I said, uh, now we'll go and see one particular layer that uh, social media network analytics. Right? And in this, when you when somebody goes and does uh, that social media network analytics, that is where uh, your knowledge of mathematics and graph theory would come very handy. Right? So uh, and that's where you take and uh, business knowledge coming together. Right? So you have to know what is a graph theory. What a node and uh, a vertex and if uh, edges mean uh, in a in a graph in a network? Uh, how do we decide the uh, the influence of a node? How do you identify the strength of a node? Right? And these are a couple of things that you have to bring from your uh, uh, 10, 12 uh, uh, mathematics or graph theory knowledge to know about network analytics. Right? At least two terms that we will use in today's discussion are uh, one is network centrality. Network centrality essentially means that how many uh, other nodes one particular node is connected to. Right? And influence is basically, okay, there are hundreds of people building hundreds of networks in, net in this social media network. Who is the most influential person in this network? And that influential position is always very context dependent. We will see again. For example, if I am interested in knowing who is the person who is being retweeted the most. So somebody has posted a tweet about, let's say, COVID-19, right? There are hundreds of people tweeting about COVID-19. If I'm interested in knowing, in knowing which tweet is being retweeted the most, right? In that case, I will go and see what we call in degree centrality, somebody who is being directed the most, right? If I'm interested in knowing, okay, who is the person who has the maximum number of followers and who's tweeted, right? So I'll again look for in degree centrality. But if I'm interested in knowing that, let's say, uh, there are 10 people, uh, one is being retweeted the most, but there is one person who would be connected to various other people in the world, right? There are several sub-networks existing. In that case, we go and identify between a centrality and so on and so forth. So if I talk theoretically, maybe it will be a bit difficult to understand. So what I'll do is I'll take you uh, to some hands-on on, uh, the network analytics that I have done, social media network analytics. But before that, uh, let me show you this graph. Can anybody unmute and tell me what is this network about? Can you make some sense out of this? Anybody? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is Akshat here. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm not able to see you because I'm uh, sharing my screen. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, so what I can uh, make out uh, of on this graph is that these are the handles uh, over some social media platform. And the dots are the like nodes, uh, which are the followers, uh, which shows the amount of influence uh, handle has over the other uh, people. And this whole, like uh, in the bigger picture, this whole community is connected. So, and a message can spread from, let's say one small uh, handle to the extreme other node via this, via this network. So this one the message could reach now, if your the purpose is to make the message reach to, uh, let's say, all the person, possible uh, nodes in this network, right? So, what is that you will look for? You will try number of... Who is the person most connected? Yes, number of nodes. Yes. Right? 
Okay, hold on to that. Now, uh, let me ask you this question. Uh, can you make out which context does this node represent uh, from the various nodes that you see here? What did you, what, what is the topic being discussed here from which this network is emerged? Uh, automobile, cars. Automobile, cars, very good. Okay, so, you know, uh, uh, when I was uh, looking for some data uh, to show you in this class, yesterday I came across that uh, Tata Safari, the 2021 version has been launched, uh, you know, yesterday 22nd of February. So I thought this is a very good context for me. I just went to Twitter and uh, uh, extracted last 2000 tweets that have been made about Tata Safari, uh, uh, SUV that have been launched yesterday, right? And this is the network that I came across. You see, uh, you know, uh, so notes that I have highlighted here and the, uh, their names and Twitter posts that I have given you, uh, those highlighted are the ones who have been, whose tweets have been either retweeted or mentioned the most times, right? So Tata Motors is the note who has tweeted something on expected life because it's a, a, a launch of Tata Motor, right? And that tweet has been either mentioned or retweeted most number of times, right? Uh, this is another uh, note which has tweeted and uh, has been retweeted the most number of times car, wale, auto car, etc. etc. Right now, this, this the graphical representation is based on what we call in degree of a node here. Right, so I was interested in knowing that which particular node has tweeted about uh, this Tata SUV launch and then identify that who based on that. Which, which tweet have been retweeted the most and that becomes the most important thing for me because if I have to see, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, if I have to convey some message about Tata Safari, let's say I'm, I'm uh, hand, uh, heading Tata Motors, right, I go and identify who is the person being retweeted the most. For me, that was the purpose and therefore I uh, kind of sorted the, I will show you again with the help of it, I sorted uh, the all tweets that I got and based on that, I tried to show uh, this uh, Tata Motors and others are the most influential nodes for me, right, I have to go and identify that what are they tweeting about? And if I have some message to spread, I will uh, mostly target these nodes to spread my uh, uh, for my uh, message. But if I have some other purpose, let's say I'm interested in not knowing uh, about uh, uh, who is being retweeted the most, rather I'm interested in knowing who are the, uh, that in this connection, if you see that there, there is a possibility that in this network, there are various sub networks, right? 10 people talking to each other. There are another 10 people talking to each other, but they are not necessarily connected to each other, these two networks, right? In that context, in degree might not be the good uh, 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 parameter for me. I have to go for some other uh, network centrality parameter. But before that, let me show you how did I come uh, with this particular graph and how can you, if you have to uh, think about, any, let's say, if you want to know about what is going on, what kind of network is there about IPA, what kind of network is about COVID-19, how would you go and uh, draw this network. So I'll just try and show you that. Okay, okay so let me do one thing. Let me show you how can you actually extract live data. I think that will be uh, more interesting for you. So here is uh, something I have already downloaded a Node Excel file. Uh, I'll explain you separately how one could download Node Excel software. This is a uh, node Excel file. I'm using a basic version of it, uh, which is uh, freely available. You can also try using it. There are some other uh, advanced features, of course, you will get with a pro version of it. Right. So this is how you go in. Uh, you uh, this is a node Excel is actually an Excel uh, add-in. Add-ons. You have to go and click on this import data. I hope my screen is visible. Uh, you go and import uh, data and click on Twitter search network. Right. So I'm interested in, again, if I'm interested in Tata uh, uh, Safari only, if I write this, right? And uh, let's say, uh, just for the simplicity, I'm limiting to 100 tweets, last 100 tweets. So this is something you have to authorize your Twitter account. I have already authorized, so I am seeing this option. I have a Twitter account, I have already authorized to it. I'm just trying to extract last 100 tweets about uh, uh, Tata Safari. Right. So see, this is uh, that you are last. It's, it's, we are getting very well live data about uh, Tata Safari, right? So this is uh, we are the various tabs. You will get in the vertex tab. You will see the various nodes, various Twitter handles that have uh, tweeted or retweeted about the Tata New Safari that have been launched. And we get 170 new vertex, new uh, Twitter handles that have talked about Tata Safari in the last uh, you know 200 tweets. 
and these uh, uh, hundred, uh, hundreds of uh, nodes are connected. These are the various connections. For example, this node has been mentioned by this particular node, right? So when you say vertex one and vertex two, it basically vertex one has tweeted something, and in that tweet, either vertex one has retweeted this particular vertex two's tweets or has mentioned vertex two in its tweet, right? So th this is where you interpret the data. Now uh, I have already uh, got this data uh, about. Uh, 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 Tata New Safari yesterday, what I'll do is I'll try and show how did I get the uh, graph that I have just shown you. So, like, uh, because for the simplicity, I'll limit to that particular data set that I already have. Let's see. So, this is the data I had that I had got yesterday. It's uh, based on 2000 tweets that I had generated, right? So, these are various. Uh, 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 what and uh, the ages that we had. Now, see, uh, one thing that I can do in network, we go and calculate what we call graph matrix to get initial insights about what kind of network I have gen got, uh, generated from social media. So here you click uh, calculate matrix and you get certain What when, when we try to draw a network from this uh, vertex, I get this particular graph and this, uh, does this graph give me any insight here to draw that what are being talked about Tata View Safari on social media? Perhaps we are not able to get any insight because it's so cluttered, you know, so messy graph that we're getting here. Now this node is a platform where you have got this network which is very traditional social media as a mess that you get. How do you clean this and how do you come up with something uh, from which you can make sense, right? So in that, this, this is a wonderful option that Node Excel gives you there is something called autofill columns through which you can, that's where the art part of uh, uh, social media analytics comes, right? How do you make a better representation of it? So if I want to highlight who are the tweets, uh, who are the Twitter handles which are most influential in terms of their in degree, who have been retweeted or being uh, uh, mentioned the most times, I can do the sorting. I can do this vertex size sorting based on in degree. And, uh, no, I just want to uh, one with lowest indicator should be uh, shown lowest and one with highest indicator should be shown the highest. So I do this and I am likely to uh, get a gra graph with which few nodes are being highlighted, being the, uh, the large, shown in the largest number, uh, size, right? That basically means that these are the tweets who have been uh, 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 retweeted or being uh, mentioned the most number of times. To make it even better, I will go and try to hide those nodes which have no number of uh, uh, degrees that will hide a couple of them few nodes are being hidden and you start getting few uh, you know better representation uh, you, you can also go ahead and give some color so uh, let's say you want to see those uh, vertex those uh, twitter handles with lowest number of uh, retweets being retweeted or mentioned so you do this and You get something like this, right? So uh, you see here some some uh, uh, these Twitter handles in blue, the large, basically mean that these are the ones who are the most influential nodes here in terms of they have been their tweets have been retweeted or they have been uh, mentioned the most number of times about Tata Safari in the last two hundred two thousand tweets that have appeared on Twitter, right? Now uh, let's let's try and make it uh, 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 try and make it uh, more visually appealing. What I will do is instead of getting all the number of uh, 
handles. I can also filter and say that only those nodes should appear here who have at least uh, two in degree. I can do even that. I do that here and I see that many other nodes are appearing. Now, these are just, there are no identifier here. I know that this is a tweet, this is a Twitter handle who have been retweeted or mentioned the most, but who are they, right? So there are a couple of other visualizations that we can do here. What we can do, uh, I can copy and these are the vertex that Twitter handles. So let's say, okay, I copy these vertex names and place in the labels column, right? And if I now refresh this, so you will see their names start coming. Now, how, uh, how, apart from this name, you can also get a Twitter picture, actually, Twitter handle picture to even uh, get a more recognizable graph. So, 11 is basically the shape uh, code. In notice, uh, there are various codes we give to uh, various shapes and the colors. 11 is the code that I remember here. So, if you get the 11 code, you will get the Twitter handle uh, picture as well, along with their uh, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? names. Now, this is something, uh, and there are uh, things like you know the various layouts. Uh, if you refresh, uh, you will get various types of representation. The, the moment you change layout, you get different types of representation. And this is again another interesting thing about social media that every time uh, you like uh, the dra graph that I have shown in my PPT will be different from the graph that I will show you right now because every time you refresh, you know, it changes. It's a, uh, the, you know, uh, that, that's about Node Excel. The, the representation would change. And, uh, you know, through hidden trial and uh, using your arts, you come up with a better visualization. Right? There is this graph option in which you can uh, bundle some of these and uh, come up with some other forms of representation. So this is something closest, coming closest to what I have shown in my PPT. You can organize it a bit better, you know, to make it more visually appealing. Something that I hope it would come closer to the one that I have shown you. Right. Right. At least you are getting. Uh, you are now. You will now start seeing a more uh, uh, better, better visuals coming as uh, more uh, 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 options you explore in Word Excel. Right. So this is uh, you know the one representation that you are able to see. Now, uh, in the interest of time, I will go back. Uh, you know, you can keep on trying this thing, and uh, whichever visualization suits you better, uh, your uh, purpose better, we, one can keep that visualization for the uh, representation purpose and making more insight uh, from this data, right? You keep playing with these various layouts, various graph options. Also, uh, you know, there are uh, various groups that one can create and through autofills, you are always can keep changing uh, these layouts and coming up with better representation. Now, let me go back to my PPT, which is presenting. Once you know how this Node Excel works, right? So this is uh, the graph that I showed, uh, very close to the one I showed you here, right? So this is a graph based on in degree, if you remember, we have sorted it, right? Now, let me show you this. Now, anybody who can make out what is difference, what is the difference between this particular uh, 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 network and this network? The data is same. We are talking about the same data set, Tata New Safari, but it's a matter of representation. Anything, any new insights that you get that is not available in this graph? Anybody who could unmute? Do you see various colors here? For example, this one has one color and this one has another color. This is like blue, uh, orange, green, various colors that you see here. Anybody? What does this color tell you? So are they the followers uh, or the audience of those handles? Anybody? Anyone else? Anything, you know, whatever uh, you make sense of this uh, particular representation. This graph has one-to-one -one connection between... A bit louder? Okay. Uh, see, this, these particular colors tell you that in this network that we have seen just now, there are various sub networks. There are a few set of people who are very much closely connected to each other compared to another, right? So you see, these are the couple of tweets. These are couple of Twitter handles. These are couple of uh, uh, Twitter nodes who are 
connected to more compared to this node being connected to let's say this node right so there are various subgroups within this network right so while we see that these are the various uh, nodes with highest number of retweets or uh, mentions they are not necessarily the ones who can uh, help me spread message among all these networks we have to identify that we know that there are various sub networks so we have to identify who are the people who can help me connect various isolated components in this graph and therefore first you have to identify those various components so now this why this representation broadly tells us about that there are various sub network but still visually this network is not very much appealing to me in terms of knowing those various sub network now if i go and see this one right the message is same that there are various sub networks sub graphs here but in terms of representation this if you once you do this clustering you see that this is one particular sub network within this network graph the within this graph this is sub graph this is another sub graph this is another sub graph this is another sub graph and these are the couple of uh, other uh, network which are very much isolated from each other so while these are other fully connected to each other these are the ones very isolated ones if we pass on certain message to this node this message will never reach to this particular person on the twitter right they are they are not at all connected similarly while this particular person in terms of in degree is very much connected it, you know it's similar to let's say this twitter handle but this person is not very much connected to other networks in terms of its inter network connectedness this network is of no use whereas if you can see this small node here while this small node is apparently having no uh, in degree you know very low in degree but this node is connected to other network so in terms of uh, uh, it has connections to two networks so compared to this node if our purpose is to connect with this node this node is more important right here you see more than in degree we have to look for some other parameter that we call between centrality i'll also take couple of minutes to show you, you how do you do this uh, grouping and uh, cluster representation of uh, this network so i'll go back and uh, show you the uh, same thing that i'm doing here to in order to achieve that clustering what you do is you go and click on this particular what we call groups and click group by clusters right once you do put all nameless vertices in one group uh, okay we'll discuss it something later right see uh, this is where you see various now various uh, groups that we have seen earlier now they are being put in different clusters right and this is where we start seeing uh, uh, we are reaching very closer to the representation that i have shown you uh, uh, you know in uh, in in my ppt right so this with using this group option you can uh, create very clusters and this uh, node excel as a tool will automatically put it into uh, different clusters and uh, uh, right now one thing uh, let me go back to my slide here Right. So with this, I, we see here that uh, while in terms of in degree centrality, there are nodes that are more important, but uh, who can help us spread uh, message to most number of uh, uh, nodes. But if we are interested in knowing, uh, we know with this visualization there are people who are isolated uh, in in this network. If we have to make them connected, we have to identify those nodes who are even smaller in terms of their in degree being uh, repeated or mentioned the most times, but they are they can help us connect. So in node Excel, we go back uh, to the graph and instead of in degree, we sort. thing by betweenness centrality that is another feature of node which uh, help us identify what we call structural goals connecting the bits nodes and we make a representation uh, uh, we will not be able to cover that part for today but one thing you know when you look at again go back to this graph and see tata motors car wale auto car pro uh, on various other ratan tata being featured here makes a lot of sense right ratan tata would have a reason to tweet about tata safari and more reason to be retweeted because he is the one who leads right tata motors also tweeting something and that is being retweeted that makes a lot of sense can you for me this was interesting who is this unidentified person here twitter handle with enemy slayer 24 by 7 this is a person apparently being retweeted even more than tata motors ratan tata that was something very interesting to me this is unique insight that i got while working for this data and that generated curiosity for me no go ahead and see what is that uh, who is that person uh, who has been retweeted even more than uh, uh, tata motors or rather than tata itself right then i uh, went back to uh, my uh, excel file let me go back and see uh, you know uh, that 
this is the person enemy slayer right i go back to ages tab and see who is the person who has tagged this enemy slayer enemy slayer uh, has been retweeted by let's say uh, malik bhaijan and somebody right i go and look at that tweet actually what is that tweet which has been retweeted the most number of times See, and this is what I find, right? It is out of context for Tata Safari, and this is giving some insights, right? So, out of the 2,000 tweets that I got, there were 150 tweet or around 150 retweets about this particular post, right? So, there is somebody called Enemy Slayer who has written that uh, Tata should use this photo from Galwan Valley class to promote Tata Safari, right? I mean, this is a person you don't, you know, and this person is, if you go back and see his profile. It's no, he doesn't even have that many influencers. You know, he has only 5,000 some followers. You know, this person is actually nowhere, he's not a celebrity, but he has tweeted something about Tata Safari, which is you know, in traditional sense is not linked to Tata Safari, but it has a lot of message and that is being retweeted. You see, who are what are various retweets about this? I have to log in, I'm not there. So, you know, uh, see various uh, retweets uh, and people try to associate. Uh, associating now a Tata Safari with uh, you know, uh, the features of it, and that's uh, it, whether it serves the purpose of Tata Safari or not, something that one has to uh, go and identify what are the purpose of Tata Safari. But we certainly giving some insight that on you know, and also very unique feature of social media that you have uh, new uh, uh, influence on social media, who are not necessarily the big what Bollywood celebrities or another person, right? It could be anybody, and any tweets can go viral about it, right? So that's what I identify more than Tata Motors. It's some unidentified person who has been who has tweeted something about Tata Safari launch, and that has been uh, that's been one of the most influential on social media. Now, <clears throat> there are lots of other things that one could do on this network. Uh, uh, this network using uh, this Node Excel features to, uh, uh, tools to be precise, right? You can go back and uh, Node Excel gives you this feature that uh, you you go and identify what we call that various bots so uh, you know among these various tweets so you know we have already extracted the tweets so uh, what uh, this is a column where you actually see the tweets that have been made by the people right so these are various tweets now what we can do is we can go here and get in these tweets what are the various words that have been the most dominant ones right so identify various themes in those tweets and then what are the various words that are co-appearing together right so uh, that are co-appearing this. We can go and click on this and uh, choose uh, from tweets and we can get various uh, words and we can also identify the sentiments in a tweet, whether they're talking positive or negative. We can even define those that which words should be uh, uh, listed positives and negative, right? And one can do various other analytics in this uh, node using the live social media data that one could extract, right? Uh, but, you know, something more interesting, apart from this Tata Safari, I also tried work to get some live data about COVID-19, right? So yesterday night, I also got 2,000 tweets about uh, COVID-19, and I tried to draw some network from that COVID-19 uh, set of tweets. Now, this is a network that I got, right? Now, imagine this particular network and this network. What is the biggest difference that you see here? Anybody? No difference. Uh, it, sorry. Uh, quantity, uh, like number of tweets with that keyword. Yeah, quantity number of tweets. See, this this looks not so messy. You know, everything is connected to perhaps everything. Apart from this portion of the graph, everything is connected, and that makes it even more messy, right? It's connection. But if you look at this graph, it looks to me so clean, right? Everything is, you know. At proper place, uh, you know, and colors, it looks good. Whether this uh, kind of network you expect to be, you call it better, whether this network, it depends, right? This network, while it looks uh, perhaps better visually appealing, but it has several disadvantages in terms of, you know, if you want to see whether something, uh, you know, if you want to know the kind of conversation on social media. So if you see here, why these are the nodes which are in, you know, in terms of again integrity. They are the influencer, but you see, compared to this graph, 
this is a completely disconnected network right so there are thousands of people perhaps talking about covid 19 but they are talking in small networks right so these are perhaps 50 people talking among themselves another 40 people talking about themselves another 40 people 30 people right they are talking in small groups and perhaps this helps to explain why there is no particular uh, social media that uh, Campaign being picked up on COVID, about COVID 19. People are talking in small groups. So, if you have to make something go viral about social media, COVID 19 social media and make something effective through social media, you have to perhaps, this is the insight that you are getting here that people are talking in smaller groups. They are not connecting to each other on any teams, right? So, this is one insight one could easily get from this. Now, apart from this, you know, there is another insight for me personally about this, you know, you see this, the graph of COVID 19 actually is a COVID 19 virus here, right? You see, this is a network which is giving complete shape to COVID-19 virus, these small networks here. So these are the two completely uh, different kinds of network that you can see. One is Tata about Tata Safari, people are so much connected, whereas people, people talking about COVID-19, they're talking in small groups here. Now, this is something I, uh, uh, where the, we go back and connect to our business knowledge, right? These are the various things that one could do about social media data, exact data, but what do you do when you have got this data and you have got this visualization. Let's connect to what are the various social media network analysis strategy of a business organization could use. Whenever we talk about network and uh, leveraging social media network, a business organization could follow broadly three types of strategy. First is what we call shortest path to prominence strategy, where a business organization would try to identify the person most influential in terms of number of connections, the number of degree, what we call in degree in a direct graph like Twitter, right? So in that context, for me, the most influential person would be the one with the highest in degree centrality, which we have seen in the case of uh, Tata Safari, right? We have identified, we, we would have followed the shortest path of problem strategy, and therefore we identify the in degree and try to identify the most influential person. But there could be another strategy, what we call bridge building strategy, right? So if our, if, uh, Contextually, we know that uh, I, we are working in a context where there are possibilities of a small, like COVID-19, right? Small disconnect. There are large number of disconnected networks, right? So in this context, I have to build, adopt a bridge building strategy to ensure that my message is reaching to everybody in this social media network, right? In that context, instead of, uh, I, I apologize for this mistake, instead of high integrity centrality, what we look for is high betweenness centrality, right? Between the centrality, you remember the small node I talked about. That node is to having low number of high degree, but has highest between the centrality. That node is actually what we call in network of structural goal, connecting to otherwise isolated networks here, right? Then there could be another uh, uh, so, uh, network, social media network strategy, a brand could adopt that we call smart tweet strategy, right? So smart tweet strategy would essentially mean that with the help of network analytics, you have identified who is the most influential person for you, either in terms of high degree centrality or in terms of between centrality, based on which context you are working on. Now, you would be interested in knowing what is that person talking about, right? As we discussed, what is that person talking about? Uh, uh, what are the various themes emerging from their tweets? What are the sentiments, positive, negative, or neutral sentiments, right? So you would be interested in knowing about the tweets and the sentiments made from those influential tweets about, uh, you know, on your network. And that is where you mix now network analytics with text analytics, right? Remember the eight years of analytics we talked about, where we start with network and then go to text analytics, right? So this and many other things we cover in social media analytics course here that is a part of tech in here at our school of management and entrepreneurship, right? And I said there are various other things that we cover with node Excel and the social media analytics course. Right? So with this, uh, I will stop now and be open to any questions that you might have. Yes, Dr. Gaurav, are there some question on uh, chat box? Yeah, uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Mayank, for sharing such an insightful session on social media analytics to all of us. Today, uh, uh, you know, I learned a lot of things, like a difference between social media analytics, business analytics, how social, uh, uh, you know, uh, media analytics is both science and art, so a lot of my doubts got cleared. And uh, as I'm a finance professor, so I can see the application of networks in the stock markets as well. So stock markets across the globe 
are linked in form of a network. So if US close, then uh, Tokyo open, and if Tokyo close, then Hang Seng, and then uh, Singapore, Bombay, Dubai, so all these top markets form a network. Right, so this session will definitely, uh, uh, you know, is going to help in my research as well. Right. So Thank you, Tibor. I see a couple of questions on chat box. Uh, yeah. So uh, uh, one question is data free. Uh, see, uh, uh, yes, Node Excel has various uh, versions. Right. So uh, what I uh, use today is a basic version. You, using basic version, you can uh, extract up to two thousand tweets. Right, that's a limitation of basic version, but that 2000 tweets is basically free. Right, you can uh, use that uh, to uh, uh, see some things inside your social media. So, I, I would love to see now that you go back and uh, start uh, ex uh, exploring social media networks on topics of this could be football, cricket, or any business context that uh, matter to you. Like, you go and see the uh, network that are emerging around uh, the topic that interests you, right? And uh, right, so. Uh, one question is about color and slicing down. Yes, uh, so now that's where I said uh, the art part of this. Uh, there are various features that Node Excel gives you, you know, uh, through uh, vertex. Uh, I just talked about vertex there, right? You can even uh, play around with edges, you know. So uh, whether you are interested in seeing only mentioned tweet or uh, retweets or just tweets, what kind of edges are you interested in seeing about various nodes on this uh, network, right? So there are so many other things that you can do. You can do further clustering. And uh, 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 there are different types of clustering one could do. Right? So there, there are several such art aspect of this uh, science in uh, social media network analytics that one could use. Right? And this data is not about 100 what it's about 2000 tweets that we talked about in, in a free uh, version of it. One, uh, since I see uh, chat about uh, uh, tools, see there are various uh, visualization tools like R uh, uh, and Tableau, etc. There are specific network visualization tools like Gephi is one such powerful uh, network visualization tool. But what uh, sets Node Excel apart from very much is, you know, it's social media, the context that it allows you to work. You know, you could see the live data that you extract and you draw a network from that. And then you go ahead and do text mining and so many other things. In fact, uh, Node Excel and if you can explore Symantia as a tool alongside this, you know, Symantia is another very powerful tool for text analytics, social media text analytics. So Node Excel plus Symantia, it makes a wonderful combination for social media analytics, right? If you're interested in knowing about uh, uh, actions, like suites, we share then food suite is one platform that the company ideally uses for most of the company would use for uh, this kind. So they, but then I have given a table, right? So there are eight layers of analytics and various tools one could use. But for social media network analytics, I personally find Node Excel is the perfect tool uh, for that. Explore the uh, pro person. So if many of you are students, you can go and just for $39 that you have to pay for one year. And it's an amazing tool for you to start exploring social media analytics. Right. Uh, any other question? Uh, you can unmute. Yes. Yes, sir. So in the Tech MBA uh, course that is offered, so just wanted to know that in social media analytics, uh, are we like going to learn about starting from these networks to like how these, uh, you know, getting insights from this data to design the copy and the social media strategy uh, for a specific campaign? Yeah, a uh, very good question, actually. You know, uh, that's where uh, this tech campaign is entirely positioned. Right? Uh, and that's the reason we ask uh, some bit of familiarity with mathematics, statistics, uh, and computer science, etc. Right? So if you know graph theory, uh, many of you who were not familiar with graph theory might be still wondering what is this integrity between us that I talked about. I had a time limitation, therefore I could not uh, talk about the graph theory detail. I just went on with my visualization. Like, but but if you are aware of these terms, right, it makes things easier for you to understand, right? And that's the reason we make this thing mandatory that you have some mathematics background for uh, tech MBA. But you know, even with math, let's say if you are not very much familiar with uh, graph theory, uh, we here at IIT Jodhpur surely give a preparatory class where we teach fundamentals of graph theory before we come to social media analytics. Right? We understand those concepts might be there. We we do cover that part. Uh, but more important thing is not that you know this question again comes that uh, you know somebody coming from engineering background what is that additional you get in tech MBA right so somebody from mathematics background engineering would know graph theory very well but this is where you saw how you can leverage that graph theory with social media as a business context 
and this is tech versus management combo that we call tech and behavior right so we're bringing both the knowledge together to form a tech and behavior yes david it's like application of graph theory engineering in facebook twitter instagram that's the one we call business context here but application of graph theory in a context which is you know i will discuss social media the difference the live data that we want and very unstructured dr gorab i think uh, we're done with the questions there are no other questions that i see in chat box so if you think we can close for now so uh, any uh, any more questions uh, would you like to ask from dr mayank or from the admissions team uh, so one last question uh, so like uh, sir as you showed uh, the network analysis and you know the whole uh, like how we can formulate the strategy so i'm coming from the digital marketing background and so i had this question that uh, how to finalize that uh, you know just to do it hold the process on ourselves or there are uh, you know directly the agencies uh, which we can which which we can work and assign to those guys so how how to uh, decide on that process see uh, yeah so uh, let's say if i understand your question i'll try to make it more broad so let's say you are going to work for a company whether you should be knowing social media analytics or whether you should just outsource it to some agency to do social media analytics for you right that's what your question would be coming yes sir because considering the time frame and the roi and investment etc indeed uh, I'm, and i'm sure uh, even you would uh, like to work as social media analytics consultant right and that's why you should learn these things but uh, right and but more than that if you are trying to be with manager the head of a company and you are deciding whether you should launch social media analytics or you should outsource see that's where i again go back to the context you know if you have to decide what is the most influential node for me you are the one who know your business for you who is the most influential person it's just not the big bubble for you influential right something put that small uh, net node but that is somewhere relevant for you to connect for example here right so that is more relevant for you now what is positive or negative sentiment right i just uh, uh, saw uh, this tweet when i was doing the further text analytics of the tata safari dangerous word was mentioned negative in this uh, tweet by this node excel but tata safari somebody would know for them dangerous would be positive word because they want to show that you know for dangerous ride or some you know, you know that kind of adventurous ride it is for tata safari that adventurous and dangerous would be positive word right so you know the context in which the data is emerging and then you know the uh, uh, meaning of the uh, influence of a node and the meaning of the text right so you can indeed outsource and that outsource uh, consultant could be you but as a manager also i believe you know a, a bit familiarity with social media analytics is essential in today's age when uh, you know there's the more than half of the population is on uh, social media and you as a business also would be on social media Yes, I got it. Like it will be also helpful for the brand listening and ORM, right? Yes, yes. And Food Suite is another platform, right? If we have some session on that, we'll see how the, you do that brand listening using the platform. Okay. But Thank I you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thanks, Doctor Mayank, for such a comprehensive explanation of the queries. Any more queries? Uh, any prospective students or the current student would like to ask? <coughs> you can always email your questions uh, to pro uh, to professor mayank on the email id available on the website right so i think we are done for a day any more questions let me have a look over chat box uh, sir uh, like in terms of pedagogy uh, just wanted to know that uh, in the course uh, will it be according to the like platform specific uh, for example for facebook we learned the whole process for twitter the whole different game will it be according to platform specific or will it go by the chapter wise yeah we it it's application so we uh, we are not going to teach you though i have a textbook with me that's on social media analytics but i'm not going to teach you this textbook right we are going to learn from tools how to actually do social media analytics and that is the essence of tech and ai right uh, yeah. okay got it sir okay dr mayank and uh, all participants so i think we are done for the day
thank you uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, listening to uh, the session and all your questions. And thank you, Dr. Thanks. Thanks a lot.